Hey guys, Greg here. Let's solve average of levels in binary tree leak code number 637. So we're given the root of a binary tree and we need to return the average value of the nodes on each level in the form of an array. So here, the first level is three. And so the average would just be three. The second level is 920. The average of that is going to be nine plus 20, which is 29 divided by two. So that is going to be 14.5. And the last level is 15 and seven. So that make 22 divided by two, you're going to get 11. So it's the average of the levels in order. Now I'm going to leave the visualization pretty quick here because essentially you just need to know that you'd want to do a BFS, otherwise known as a level order traversal when you're talking about binary trees here. And there's a full video on that. So if you haven't done level order traversal, please check out the video in the description. I'll link that up and that's going to exactly tell you how to do this logic. Then it's just a little extra step in the code to actually get those averages of 3, 14.5, and 11. So I'll show you how to do that in the code. So we are going to do a BFS in the tree, which means from collections, we'll import DQ. We need a Q object to do level order traversal. So we'll get a list of averages, which is what we'll return at the end. That's going to be an empty list so far. And we'll get a Q, which I'll just call the letter Q, is equal to a reference to a DQ object, which starts as empty but we will put the root onto it. Okay, then while we have a Q, the average for our current level is zero and we'll get N is the length of the Q. So the length of the Q means at this point, what is the length of the upcoming level? So at the beginning, it's just the root. After we process the root level, it will have put on its children. And so there'll be two things in the next level and two things in the next level. So here we do four underscore in the range of N. So we purposely run this n times, which will process one level. So this for loop here processes one level, which will have length of n. And so we need a node to pop off. We'll do node is equal to q dot pop left. So we need to make sure to pop from the left side of the q. That's what allows it to act as a q. If you popped from the right side, then that would make it act as a stack still. So now it's a q. The average for the level is going to go up by the current node's value. And then we need to deal with setting up the next level. So if if we have a node.left, then that needs to go on the queue, q.append the node.left. And if we have a right, then q.append the node.right. Okay, after we exit this for loop here, that will have processed that level. And right now, average is really acting as a sum. You know, it started as zero and we summed up all the values. To really make it an average, we need to do average is going to divide equal by n. So this sets average equal to itself divided by n. And that's what truly makes it the average for that level. So we have a new average. We'll just averages dot append that average. And after this while loop completes, we will be fully processed our tree and we can safely just at this point return the averages. So let's give that a run to make sure that works. Yep, looks good to me. Time complexity of big O of n because we simply just process the nodes level by level and the space complexity of this will have big O of n as well because when we're on that second last level we actually put in a ton of stuff on the bottom level. Remember it's powers of two so the bottom level will have a ton of stuff on the queue and so that roughly takes up O of N space as well. Here's all of the code right here, guys. I hope this was helpful and drop a like if it was. Have a great day. Bye-bye.